centralized on bombing its shell support on the armed forces community and to enable the destructiveness and sacrifice of all those that have defended our freedoms and protected our way of life. shall throw not hold, as we that are left are old. Age shall not weary them, nor be beaten them. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will into the corner. Harvey Stowe will get there ahead of McKenzie. McKenzie does a good job of pinning it to the boards. Kicked in by Ballas. Down low to goodbye. From behind the net. Back up. Loose puck in front. Ballas scores! A rocket from a lucky rebound. And the Bees will open the scoring with their first shot of the game. 2.04 on the clock. And Marcel Ballas gets his 16th of the season. It's not really a shot, it's a pass, but comes off the board and bounces directly to the tape of Marcel Ballas. Brad Day could do nothing about that one. Against the Phantoms, there's too many turnovers in the front defensive zone, and the Phantoms not able to capitalise. Don't think they're going to get away with it two weeks running. Luca tries to clear it, get it into the B zone, turns it over. Ballas finds a goodbye, Don goodbye to the front, and then Don goodbye as quick as you like. Puts the Bees 2-0 up against the runner play, 11-27. This line cannot stop scoring as Gabay walks it in off the beautiful feed from Balaz. And a lovely backhand finish around Brad Day for his 50. McKenzie with it again. Back to Mitchell King. Shot towards traffic and it goes through everything and in. It's a deflection in front of Harry Ferguson. And the Tigers half the deficit, 36-09 with a power play goal. The shot comes in from Rhodes Mitchell King. And it comes off of Harry Ferguson and just under the, uh, the blocker of Brith and Priest. Nothing 
the netminder could do about that one. Pass. Antonov gloves it down. Vanya Antonov with the chance. Vanya Antonov shot straight off day. Loose in front. Mitchell King clears up the rubbish. And Finley Howes breaks the other way. Up the right-hand side, Finley Howes with a beautiful move towards goal. Finley Howes, that is an absolute worldie. He loves scoring goals like that in this rink. And it is a tie game at 38-36. Finley Howes' is eighth of the year. It's a lovely move around Harvey Stead. And fires it over the blocker of Priest. Here is that second goal, Finley Howes. Spinning Harvey Stead round and right off the corner. Right in that top corner over Priest. Nothing you could have. It's a shot saved by Priest. Vitali can't clear it. And the Bees will finally bring it away. 20 seconds. Morris. Morris wants an interference call on Price. So do the Bees bench. And Liam Morris is going to get jumped by Jaden Pecker. Morris had no interest in that fight. Jaden Pecker just walks over and punches him one. This is going to be a very interesting call for the officials. Morris had a little go at Jake Price before it. Neither were interested in the fight. And Jaden Pecker is being escorted from the ice. Now, whether or not that's because there's only eight seconds to go in the period or because it's an ejection, we will find out shortly. Game for fighting, I believe, was what's called. Balaz receives a two minute unsportsmanlike. Antonov gets blown up off the first face off. Stuart Mock with a chance. In what has been an ugly end, Harry Ferguson dropped Vanya Antonov before the puck even was dropped. Ferguson's now gone down and it's all kicking off. Harvey Stead jumps straight off the bench. Jake Price and Harvey Stead are going to go. This is going to get messy now. And what an end to the period we've had. The last 10 seconds of a period have just descended into absolute madness. The bees are livid as Harry Ferguson drilled Antonov when the puck was dropped. Don Gabay challenged him for it. Harvey Stead raced off the bench. And Jake Price raced into Harvey Stead with now more chats going on. More importantly, the end of two periods, it's bees two, tigers two. What we can tell you so far is Balaz was two for unsportsmanlike at 39.52. Jaden Pecker is five and game for fighting at 39.52. And I get a feeling we're going to be bringing you more penalties when we come back. The crowd are giving the top up and skating back to the bench. Goodbye, collects the loose puck. There's more going on. Scott McKenzie and Liam Morris this time behind the play. And this time we will get a proper fight. Liam Morris and Scott McKenzie. 46-13. Well, that's a thing. And forces the big save from Priest. He went backhand. And Priest swings the glove over at it. Face off in the B zone once more. Won by Scott McKenzie. He's able to shovel it back up to the blue line. Tigers circling with Jake Price. Back to Luca. He does have a shootout winner here last year. Luca to the front of the net. Goes just round it. Scored away by Antonov. Antonov was able to get it away from Luca. Now the zone. Vanya Antonov has a chance. Vanya Antonov on the breakaway. Vanya Antonov puts the moves on. And Vanya Antonov ices the game. With Vladimir Luca draped all over him. Vanya Antonov becomes the hero for the night. And the bees keep on rolling. 60-59, the time of the winning goal. A 
and the ring erupts. Something we didn't see much of at all last year here. The Bees had 12 wins the entirety of last season. They have eight on Remembrance Day this season. Here it is, Vladimir Luka all over him. And Vanya Antonov goes 5-0 on the Tigers netminder. And if anything, it's the Kucherov shoot. Firstly, for the Talpa Tigers this evening. Brad Day takes the man in the match for the Tigers, pulling off some outrageous saves there, especially in that second period. Couldn't quite make that last one at the end, but it's another solid performance from the Tigers netminder. He always has good nights here in this rank. Tigers go for their lap of honour. That gives me enough time to say thank you to Telford Tigers fans who've joined us here in the week this evening and here on the stream. Enjoy the game tomorrow if there is one. And don't forget, you are back here in what is the last stream before Christmas. It's Sunday the 17th of December. Player of the month, supporter squad player of the month for October. Goes to Britain Priest. It's hard to argue against him. He pulled off some big saves and some big moments and some big wins in October. Two members of the Buzz Club, you get to present the award to Britain Priest for October. tonight goes to Liam Morris. A brilliant two-way performance as well as well, being a nuisance. I think mean, so there's that, but he's our nuisance. He wins the man of the match for the Bees tonight. And he will sign a hat quick. if he has a better throw in than Vanya Antonov did last week. Yep, he can clear the glass. Vanya didn't. And the Bees will go for a well-deserved lap of honour tonight. They head to Peterborough tomorrow. With League and Cup points on the line there as well. They've already beaten the Phantoms twice this year. Can they win in Breton? It's a place they haven't performed well at in recent years. And more importantly, we're back here next Sunday as we welcome the Milton Keynes Lightning to town, one of the two powerhouses of the National League, are here in town next Sunday, 5 o'clock face-off here in Slough, 4.15 live for the stream. And I'm not saying I'm short on time tonight, but I have already packed my stuff up. So from producer Nick, producer Annika, myself, thank you, good night, Nicholas. got one thing to push now.